to fix a TV box Android anyone okay I bought a hundred of these uh, sold them all they come back all the time I, I keep my customers happy uh, whenever they got a problem they bring it back to me the manufacturer supplied me with the with the operating system with the ROM that goes on it so if they, if they come back I just look, reload the ROM give it back to me in the factory state and they're happy now I've sold out of these and I don't really want to go back to China because it was quite a hassle so now I'm buying these ones in the UK uh, right so I've sold maybe 20 of these and they're beginning to come back in the same way the other ones do but I don't have a ROM uh, the manufacturer I haven't got a ROM from them they're a bit it's a bit complicated the whole manufacturer situation so I'm gonna hunt for a ROM install it I've already uh, and, and give you all the solutions and how to fix any problem that comes along with these MXQ boxes by installing ROMs all the Wi-Fi ports that everyone's come up with I've got the solution to all of them just keep watching <laughs> When I have a computer problem, I prefer to use YouTube to do research than just using Google search. Um, I don't know, seeing the problem uh, resolved before my eyes seems to work better than, than just reading it to me, unless I have to. Okay, anyway, I typed in MXQ ROM, searched, uh, and I tried all these. So, Megatron, uh, I tried it, it, it looked like a really good... Uh, video and it looked like it was the answer to the problem when I went to install the ROM it just wouldn't install uh, we might install on yours maybe worth a try but not on mine um, I only looked for the ones that covered MXQ and I didn't want the 4k ones because I didn't believe they would work either anyway I went through all of these uh, uh, open lick one was another one I tried uh, and it was very good and and I'll tell you about that later anyway uh, I must have watch 20 of these videos I must have downloaded 20 ROMs uh, just to come to the conclusion that there was this one website called China Gadget where you can download all the ROMs uh, I shall put the link in the in the, in the uh, comments so this is China Gadget Reviews dot com forward slash firmwares uh, this is where all the firmwares are. They're just all listed here. There's like 20, 30 different uh, uh, pages of 10 or 12 firmwares. So you just got to search through here, try to find your box and try to download the ROM for your box in order to get to the solution. And so what I did was I looked through here. I looked for a box that looked like mine and, uh, and seemed to be mine to try and find this ROM and I downloaded the first one I came to uh, this one here looks like my box oh no it wasn't that one it was a uh, one without the 4k on ah, this one here looks like my box uh, MXQ looks the same thing uh, click on the read review go down click here to download download it and then you'll have the ROM so download uh, this USB burning tool install it and run it and you should see this Just click on the second uh, line of text in choose English and then you've got it all in English To install the, the firmware ROM uh, on this box, you're going to need a toothpick, you're going to need a cable that you should have got with it, which is a double sided USB cable like that. Okay, okay, so you need to plug the USB into your PC and then you're going to press the uh, reset button, which is inside the AV port there. Uh, you're going to put the USB in. But you have to be pressing the AV button as, as you put the USB in. 
In the meantime, the software will be running on your computer. You'll hear a donkey donk noise, and it will say connection successful on your PC on the software. Then you just click on file, import image, go to where you download the image to, open the image. Then just press start. Now it's uh, going to upload the, the new ROM, the new uh, firmware to the TV box. Once this is done, you just unplug the TV box, plug it back into your TV and it's fixed. I'll show you afterwards. If you have problems with this part, it's probably because you've got the wrong ROM. If you want to try my ROM, you'll have to contact me and I'll send it to you by email. Successfully burnt. There we go. This process takes about three minutes. So reconnect your uh, box to your TV and you'll see this. It can take quite a while to boot up on the first boot, so just wait. Okay, then it'll come to this screen here, uh, where you can just press next, choose the language, next, next, and then network access point. So I've clicked on uh, Wi-Fi, uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't appear to be coming out. You can connect to Ethernet to it, that would definitely make it work. Press finish. Choose the launcher, so you've got the choice of the uh, two different launchers, and they just go through them, I'm sure anyone's fine. Okay, and then you'll see this. Now, that's all ready to go now. Just install the software you're used to installing. But, As far as the network's concerned, there's a Wi-Fi problem. This won't go. It's just going to stay saying this and it won't show you the Wi-Fi's that are on there. This bit stomped me for a while because I just couldn't work out why. I tried all these things online and how to fix Wi-Fi. The problem isn't the Wi-Fi, it's just the wrong ROM. So now we need to install another ROM on top of this ROM. Okay, so I downloaded and installed the OpenLex software and the box reacted like this. So I've got my MXQ logo, got the OpenLEC logo, and it goes straight into Kodi. There's no other part, part of the operating system anywhere, all you can use is Kodi. Which is pretty cool, once you configure Kodi up you can watch most stuff, most live TV and everything, so it's really good. But the, the thing that this proved to me was that it wasn't a Wi-Fi problem because the Wi-Fi works in here. So back to China Gadget Reviews to find the correct ROM. So this is the one I downloaded, which is the first one I came upon. Now if I look through, looking for my model, I can, uh, there's, there's at least six or seven of my model here. In the end, I, I tried all of them. I just kept going. Every time I saw my model, I just downloaded the ROM, tried to install it. Half of them didn't install, which would not accept it. And some did, but didn't work still. One installed, the, the Wi-Fi worked, but it would only work for half an hour. In the end, I resorted to doing a search for my specific box on China Gadget. I, this is what I believe my box to be, uh, MXQ S805. So you'd have to search for your box, whatever it is. Now, I've got a choice of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 possibilities of my box. Uh, I've done all of these and tried to find it. It turns out that this one is my box. And it actually isn't, because my box doesn't even look like that. But this is the one that actually works on my box. So just from trial and error and just trying them all I found that if I download this uh, ROM it will actually work on my box 
So all you have to do is click here, download in browser, open the zip file, uh, and then copy the contents of the zip file to an SD card. There we have it. Copy the contents of the zip file onto your SD card by dragging and dropping it there. Then insert the SD card into the MX box. I can't really show you this, but that goes in there. That's it. Then uh, go to setup. Click on other. System update. Select. It will search your drive for the US for the SD card and select select it. Press update. Update. And it should restart and uh, the Android should come up and install the updated ROM firmware. This part takes a few minutes so allow it to do its work. I'll use some camera tricks to speed things up on this bit. Now this box is working perfectly. Click on setup. Wi-Fi selected. You can now see my Wi-Fi selections. So the Wi-Fi is working. Everything else is working perfectly because it's a new ROM. And this will fix viruses or anything else that's wrong with your machine. If you liked this video, please click like. Subscribe if you like. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.